Afternoon guys. Just got done dragging the uh, desktop PCs upstairs. So, as I said in the other video, all Dells, apart from the Apple from the end here, uh, I think some of these may have been stored somewhere a bit damp. In a damp shed or storeroom or something somewhere, because uh, signs of a bit of rust and mould on some of these. Anyway, I've got another 2400, well, at least a 2400 case, because as you can see, that's not the right uh, optical drive for it. And uh, I have had the case off, and it hasn't got a 2400 motherboard in it. Uh, there's another Dell down there, I'm not sure what that one is. Excuse me, Nemo. It's a Power Edge. Power Edge SC430. And then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Optiplex GX80s. And whatever that little box is there. It's pretty, uh, dinky. Ooh. It, uh, it's got dual core in it, designed for Windows XP. There's no memory or hard drive, as far as I can tell in any of these. I haven't looked in the Optiplexes yet. As you can see in this one, there's a fan missing to the front. Never seen one like this. This is a tiny little thing. Needs some sort of special power adapter for it as well. Go in there, an 8 pin power adapter. Don't think I've got one, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one. Could try it on eBay as spares repairs, I suppose. But, uh, it's definitely not a common type. Is that one of those that would, uh, um, would have been used for like an office or something that perhaps fitted to the back of back of a monitor or something because I know when I was working at Argos we had uh, computers like this strapped to the back of the well not strapped but fixed to the back of the uh, monitor so I'm just wondering if this, this is a similar thing I'm not sure what these holes are for though Yeah, I'd like to keep it and get it working if I can. But, because uh, I don't know if it works or not, I'm not really prepared to spend loads of money on a uh, power adapter for it. If I knew it worked, I would have. Uh, same thing with this Macintosh. I would like to keep, um, get this thing working. Uh, if it doesn't work, of course. All I know is, if it doesn't work, it's going to be a very large and very heavy paperweight. Can't believe the weight of this thing! Oh. There's DVI out on it, so I don't know how old this machine is. I don't know if it's still got hard drives or anything in it. All I know is, it weighs an absolute bloody ton. So... I'm not going to be keeping this 2400 case because I've already got one. So, let's take the side cover off, shall we? Yeah, need two hands. Mm, dial up modem. No, no RAM, no hard drive. Floppy drive. And as you can see, that is not the standard Dell board screws rattling around in the bottom there. This is the monitor I'm hoping will work when I plug it in. Because I would like to... Uh oh, I see what that thing is for on the back now. So you can stand up like that. See, I wonder what that was. <laughs> I don't know if I've got a proper stand for it. There's the four screw holes. There's the... Ethernet 
tub. Always wanted one, just for the sake of having one. It's an IBM. Again, no idea if it works, but uh, it's not hard to test it. You know, you just plug it in, connect it up, and see if it works. But uh, I'm not sure if this is one that would go in like a server rack, maybe. Because it's got those bolts on the end there. These brackets, I should say. So, I'm going to open it up and... Hopefully I'll open that up if I've got the right size star keys or Torx um, uh, screws. Ooh, I'm still sweating. Uh, so I won't mind having a look in there. It's a bit dirty, but... I bet that would have been in some sort of office block. Because uh, that's not the sort of thing you'd need to use in a home like this. You know, you could have all your office computers all connecting it here with one main internet, and Bob's your uncle, your whole building's got internet. Well, I don't know where to start with it. Only one of those has got. Optical drive. One of those GX80s. No idea what sort of memory it runs. When I test that motherboard, I'm going to have to turn my PC off because I'll need to buy a DDR3 memory stick out of it because that's a DDR3 board. And it's for Windows 8. Which means it would run Windows 10, a piece of cake. It would probably run Windows 7 as well. But uh, I don't have a use for Micro ATX. So that's going to be a, if it works, an eBay item. I have no idea of its value if it does work, so... But it is all complete. <laughs> Some of the pins on that socket, on the processor socket, might be damaged. Let me just get a box. I'm going to lay it on the table. I'm going to get my magnifier out. Right? Preferably without the washers. Yeah. I might be why that was thrown out then. I do believe there is at least one area which has been squished. The problem is with these type of sockets you can't um I don't know if I can pick it up yet, yeah, there's a dark spot right there and that looks under my own little magnifying glass. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything for the camera, does it? But uh, when I look under my magnifying glass, I can see what looks to be... Yeah. Um... Uh, well, I don't think I'll be doing anything with that one then, unfortunately. That's probably why that was thrown. Oh well, it's a shame. There's a... Uh, yep, that's definitely squished. So. That is one defunct motherboard, unfortunately. But uh, you can't get in there and unsquish those. Oh well, I won't be putting that on eBay then, will I? I suppose I could have spares repairs, but I doubt anyone would want to 
replace that. So that's going in the bin. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. That's the first definite loss anyway. <laughs> so, uh, got a few things to do before I start tinkering with those PCs, so I'll do them and as soon as I get round to tinkering with those uh, tinkering with those PCs and perhaps testing some hard drives, I'll turn the camera back on. So uh, I'll see you later. Well, I'm back again. Been a bit of a naughty boy and spending money again. I was just looking at another job lot the seller had. And that looks remarkably like a compact mini. I think it is a compact mini. I've got a compact mini. It's a slow ass bag of wank at the minute. <laughs> Is that compact Evo? It might be the compact Evo. Ah, that's just not the same as mine then. Um, Anymore, but yeah, I have bought a job lot of laptops. I'll just go back. It's this one. More laptops to think with. I know one doesn't work. Which one was it? It was the Toshiba Satellite Pro. Whichever one that is. I think it's this one. No, oh, it isn't. It's this one. I'm just make just make out a blurry satellite pro down there. Oh, that's it. That's the Tecra. So it's this one that powers on, but has a orange light that flashes and doesn't do anything. So, but according to the description, all the others work. I think they're all fitted with uh, memory. They've all got batteries, but not tested, which is, which is, um, unusual. Because of weight, they usually take the batteries off. Uh, it looks like they all have RAM fitted. Yep. Which is also good. I haven't got to mess around trying to find RAM. No hard drives in any of them, which is, I didn't expect it. I've got some, I think these will all be IDE hard drives anyway, which I've got a pile of in the cupboard that I know are good drives, so. I don't think any of them have got any caddies with them, but they're cheapest chips on eBay anyway. Well, the IBM has a caddy, so that's all right then. It doesn't say if the HP has got it. It says no hard drive. No hard drive or caddy. No hard drive or, I suppose that's meant to say, or caddy. Well, the Toshiba Tecra's got a caddy. That's all right, then. Really, I'd only want to put a bloody hard drive in to see if I can get it to work. So, yeah. So <laughs> There's actually now eight laptops in total I've got coming through the post. I think I'm going a bit nuts on computers at the minute. I think I think this will be my last lot for a little while. Before I really do go over the top, because pretty much 
anything that sells now has got to be spent on postage. So, a big oopsie on my part, never mind. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. No problem, I've got plenty of other items. Four watches on the bike, still no bids, unfortunately. So I've got one, two, three, four items to pack up for carrier, which are three bike frames and where are we? Zoom. The wheel. Which uh, shouldn't be too hard. I can get that done. What if I do that? I don't want to do that. <laughs> this wheel hub of mine, the um, front disc brake front wheel hub, that made a lot of sense, didn't it? Never mind. You know what I meant. Um, had a watch but didn't sell yesterday after it ended. So I relisted it last night, shortly after it ended, and uh, it's got a bid on it. <laughs> no watches, but it's got a bid on it. I suppose if you place a bid on something, you don't need to watch it, do you? Because it's automatically in your eBay when you bid on something. Oh, before I forget as well. Oh, 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 I've got to go back to my main, um, main page. I think in one of my other previous videos, I did say I wanted to get Theme Hospital. Well, I was bidding on one, but got outbid, so left it. But um, I noticed yesterday I'd been given a second chance offer. <laughs> so I'm guessing the person that outbid me didn't want to or couldn't pay or whatever. So, um... I got offered the second chance offer yesterday, so I took it. I actually have to say, in all the years I've been using eBay, that's the first time I've ever been offered a second chance offer like that. And if you're not familiar with what a second chance offer is on eBay, basically if the first bidder who actually won the item backs out, doesn't want it, can't pay for it, or whatever, you may be offered, or the next highest bidder, I should say, will get offered the item. Not all items you list on eBay are eligible for that, but uh, some items are. And obviously, this theme hospital game was, so I grabbed it. Because <laughs> it's a game I've wanted for ages. It's a game I did like to play when I was younger. Well, I only ever really got to play games like that around friends' houses because when we grew up, we didn't have a PC apart from the Windows 3.1 that was given to us, which by the time it was given to us wasn't really usable <laughs> apart from playing the games on it. But uh, yeah, I'm not complaining, you know. We, uh, my family didn't really have a need for a computer when we were growing up. And they were, well, in that sort of time, you know, around about Windows 95 when home PCs really did start to take off and the internet started to take off and whatnot. One, they were too expensive and three, it was more of a luxury item because you didn't really need it. But these days, so many things are done online now you know, if you want to apply for your benefits, you can do it online or by phone. Paying bills, you can do online. Shopping, you can do online. There are some businesses that only trade through a website, so you'd have to, you know, contact them via the website. So it's gotten to the point these days where it's hard not to have a computer and internet, even if it's through you know, your um, smartphone. Most people these days can access the internet one, in one way or another. Which is, you know, not always a bad thing. I do think a lot of us these days spend too much time on the computer. And I'm guilty of that one. But, you know, what can you do? Times change. 
think people should spend more time outside, especially kids, like I did when I was younger, but, you know, as I said, times change, different generation, and if I start complaining, I'll just sound like my parents and my grandparents. When we were young, we didn't do things like that. When we were young, we played outside, we didn't have mobile phones. <laughs> That's the sort of thing our parents would say. So, what I'm going to do, as I'm still waiting for Mum, but I was just looking at eBay and that reminded me that I'd purchased those laptops earlier. I'm not sure that was such a good idea, but uh, never mind. I will find a way to survive. <laughs> it's not the first time I've gone hungry. Never mind. Uh, mind. It's one of the joys of having autism, but, you know, you tend to do things like that without actually thinking about the consequences. Then you end up kicking yourself afterwards and thinking, why did I do that? That was a bad idea, but never mind. Excuse me, Nemo. Yeah, I'm still waiting for Mum. Uh, well, she said give her about an hour, and I think it's been about an hour now, but she's never been the best at timekeeping. So, uh, once she's been and gone, I'll obviously turn the camera back on, and we'll uh, have a look at some of these desktops and see if they actually do anything. Well, apart from the little Dell, whatever this one is, I don't actually know what it is. What model is it? It's a Dell what? No, it just says Dell on the front. Oddly, it takes one of those um, sort of laptop type optical drives. There's no onboard power supply, so I've got to find an external one to test it. Pretty certain there weren't any in those bags. There was a few of that. Um, power adapters in the green bags from the other videos, but I'm pretty certain none to fit that. That's not a problem. Not a problem. So yeah, I'll cut the video again here, and this may end up being quite a long video, but hopefully not too boring. But I'm going to quit me app and uh, shut the video down, and I'll be back later on. So, uh...